This conference will now be recorded. Let's start today's session. In the last session of uh, Python, we were discussed about exception mechanism. So we have seen what is exception, how to work with them. Exception is nothing but runtime error. The errors which will be raised at the time of program execution is called exception. Generally, exceptions will give abnormal termination of program execution. To avoid that abnormal termination, we need to handle the exceptions. For that, we have exception handling mechanisms like logical implementation and try accept implementation. And first priority we should give to logical implementation. Then after we should go for try accept implementation. So right now we are working with try accept implementation. Generally, try block inside we can write risky code. Risky code means there is a chance to get any exception using this try block code. And inside the accept block, generally we can write handling code. What alternative way you are showing to the programmer that uh, alternate messages we have to use inside the accept block only. So try block inside we should write risky code. Accept block inside we should write handling code only. So we can use multiple accept blocks and multiple accept blocks. Accept block without exception class is called default accept block. Default accept block can handle all the exceptions, but only the problem with the default accept block means only user defined messages will display every time. It cannot display a proper exception message or relevant exception message to the user. So if you want to display a proper exception message or relevant exception to the user, then we use accept block with specific exception class. When we go for accept block with specific exception class then we can display proper exception message because this exception class will return a message to the message object and we are printing here so in this example we have worked with one default accept block one specific accept block while working with one default accept block one specific accept block Compulsory first we have to use specific accept block that means accept block with exception class Then after we should go for default accept block So default accept block must be last in the context of when we use combination of Multiple accept blocks that to one accept block is default one accept block is proper exception class. Okay. Yes This is we discussed in the last session here now today we so, uh, can I ask one question, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, that uh, default accept block it should be uh, come after exception. If see, yeah, if we first we will give try block, then after uh, we give that uh, zero division error, then then after we will give uh, exception, right? And then after hmm. we we will give uh, that default exception, right? Hmm. That default exception block then. My question is, see, we know that the exception is a super class of all the exception. Then why it will hmm. come after uh, that default exception? If if we will talk about the hierarchy of the exception, then in this scenario, uh, hierarchy, class, uh, hi hierarchy of exception. What is see see the thing is here. Hmm. Here you can see, this is the <coughs> default ex uh, specific accept block here right pro pro programmer knows that how to handle this exception he is handling now zero division error in case other than zero division error any other exception may occur hmm. then what is the problem it cannot handle so immediately uh, it will go to what default accept block this can take care of that exception okay and the, my question is that if it's a, instead of default exception block if we we will give that exception block that it, it can also handle all kinds of the exception, right? Uh, this call, this cool. also can handle exception, right? But what is happening is this already user defined messages, what we have written in this, that only will display a proper exception relevant message will not display. Okay, yeah. 
Okay. Mm. Uh, instead of that, you can see uh, all you can leave it about this. Only we can write super class. Yeah. This is not recommend, I said, because it takes uh, time to uh, yeah, search right. within this, whatever the exception classes are there. All subclasses are involved here. But here it can be handled well, no problem. Result is coming. And even if I try to give some wrong number, second number is zero. And here you can see this some names are giving like this. It is giving clear. This exception is enough. This is super class. It will increase the execution time, right? Got it. Obviously, yeah. Next, okay. see this, we will we'll try to uh, discuss like. Uh, some important cases are there. So, what are the important cases means? So, try to understand the flow of uh, what we can say. Uh, try try accept block flow. So, I'm explaining here. Try block and accept block control flow due to this example here. Uh, try to understand this. Try to uh, try block as well as accept block flow. How it will be. So right now we are having the uh, program uh, like this try block inside the try block I'm including statement one and then statement two also and then statement three statement three and then we accept a block is there here accept a block accept a block statement four is there here At the moment when I go for statement five just observe carefully. <clears throat> I block is having how many statements? Three statements. I block is having three statements. Except block is having one statement that is statement four. Statement five is not at all belongs to except block as well as try block. Try to understand. Okay. Statement five is not at all relevant to any except block as well as try block. Statement five is just out of the try and accept. I am asking the question case one. Please replay your answer in the chart box, okay, everybody, if you know that. So, be ready for replaying in the chart box your answers. Case 1, I'm asking if there is no exception, then what statements will execute and it is abnormal or normal termination, you can see this. If there is no exception, let me write some same statements in our, in our code. So right, I'm writing this one here, I block and print, I'm writing statement one and print here, statement two, print here, statement three, statement three, except a block and I'm using what? Statement four, statement four. And print this is what actually statement 5 so I am asking case 1 case 1 what if there is no exception then what block statements will execute so try and statement 5 somebody is saying try and statement 5 try block means statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 will execute obviously because there is no exception and statement 5 will execute obviously that is correct because except block will ignore in this case because there is no exception then except block will ignore okay except block when it will execute when there is an exception in try block only so in that context except block will execute but except block is not there okay yes try and statement 5 but now and also tell me is this a, a normal termination or abnormal termination okay so if there is no exception, then statement 1, 2, 3, it's a normal termination only. Yes, obviously correct. So statement 1, 2, 3 and 5 and it's normal termination, sir. Not abnormal termination, normal termination. Fine, sir. This is the case 1. So that you will understand the flow of try accept like this. So the moment when I run this, we got statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 all the try block statements are executed if there is no problem or there is no exception in try block then simply what actually directly it will jump into out of the try accept statement 5 is there and it's a normal termination why don't accept block will execute means accept block will execute when there is an exception in try block only fine sir 
next case 2 case 2 is to if there is there is an exception exception at statement 1 then what is the output you are expecting tell me there is an exception at statement 1 statement 1 means i am telling you here only there is an exception sir contently i am giving exception 10 by 0 if there is an exception at statement 1 then what is the output you are expecting here tell me statement 1 print 10 by 0 exception occurred now try block accept a block statement 5 no obviously no there is an exception at statement 1 then why try block will execute what are the what are the try block will ignore completely it will go inside the try block there is an exception it is looking if there is an exception yes statement to one and statement four will execute no so output i am saying output execution process you just leave it okay please tell me the output what you are expecting yeah uh, that is what statement four only no so far i have not get any correct answer what about statement five think statement five statement four is okay zero division error will not come why because we have handled that exception clearly if there is no handled exception then zero division error will come but we have handled no so right now in my try block line number three okay line number three there is a exception clearly available line number three means statement one ten by zero so yes the answer is statement four will execute statement 5 will execute then also it is a normal termination not abnormal termination yes exactly correct just think once what's going to happen first control will jump into try block here exception raised when exception raised immediately control will jump into which block except block in except block what statement is there statement 4 will print then after that statement 5 will print statement 5 is not related to any try and accept block and it is normal termination only so the answer is if there is an exception at statement 1 then control will jump into statement 4 will execute statement 5 will execute and it is its normal termination only normal termination like this got my point so let's see this output here statement 4 executed statement 5 executed yes and it's a normal termination why normal termination because this is the default except block this except block can able to handle any type of exception that's what it's handling this normal termination only here fine next case number 3 is 3 if if there is an exception at statement 1 if there is an exception at statement 1 but there is no uh, there is uh, if there is an exception at statement 1 but corresponding except block not matched but corresponding except block is not matched then what is the output corresponding except block not matched means for example here you can see value error is there note this point corresponding except block not matched corresponding except block not matched means we got exception at statement 1 10 by 0 this is division by 0 fine you know that very well when there is an exception in try block immediately control is looking forward for what except block but in this except block is this exception class is matched with exception no because we got this zero division error but we are handling with value error is this corresponding except block is matched not matched in that context what is going to be happen obviously abnormal termination exactly abnormal terminations are 
abnormal termination along with abnormal termination is there statement 5 will execute or not tell me anyone statement 5 will execute or not no why not the reason is control is stopping the execution here itself so that's what it's unable to move to statement 5 but look at this output here then if there is an exception at statement 1 but corresponding except block is not matched corresponding except block is not matched then what is the output abnormal termination abnormal termination only let's see this abnormal termination or not in this program so we got the exception like zero division exception but unfortunately this except block is handling what's our value error exception so you can see this we got zero division exception is there any statement five you are looking no because control here only it's get raise error so the moment when we have error it's not moved towards here so that's what we got division by zero print 10 by zero is there available clearly here so this is about what sir abnormal termination always if there is an exception at statement one but corresponding except block is not matched then abnormal termination fine case four <clears throat> case four last case if there is an exception at statement four sir if there is an exception at statement four means what here here okay here only exception is there like 10 by 0 again so generally to execute line number 7 what should i do i want to raise the exception here only because whenever we raise the exception then control move towards the accept block but accept block why to handle the exception but during the handling this above exception we got again one more exception no inside the accept block okay so then what will happen you can see if there is an exception at statement 4 then it is always abnormal termination again no abnormal termination it is abnormal termination like this always abnormal termination only if there is an exception at statement 4 then it is always abnormal termination only look at this during the handling this above exception at line number 3 inside the try block so we got one more exception again it is always abnormal termination you will you will see it's the same like this look at this during handling of the above exception line number three another exception occurred so there is no possibility to handle this situation except to block generally for what purpose to handle the exception but in the handling of the exception what we are raising again one more exception we are raising so that's not possible to do handle sir this is the way to do this okay so these are all about different cases just for understanding point of try and accept block how it will work okay yes next i am introducing today finally block also so try statements accept block statements statements and finally block and after statements got my point yes i block statements accept block statements finally block statements so what i said in the last session try block generally what statements we can include in the try block risky statements means risky code risky code means is there is a possibility to get an exceptions that code we can call it as risky code risky code we should take inside the try block statement general next to what accept block accept block what code we can write generally handling code handling code in the sense what so just uh, how to handle the exception if there is any problem in try block what is the alternate solution for your program that code we can keep inside the accept block but finally block statements are what actually mandatory statements mandatory statements or mandatory code meaning is what including finally block is optional sir okay strictly remember including finally block is optional got my point including finally block is optional if you include in your program finally block it must be executed compulsory 
including finally block is optional okay but if we include it must be execute finally block so next what i am trying to say irrespective of try block and accept block always finally block is going to execute sir irrespective of try block and accept block always finally block is going to execute okay whether try block is executing or not or whether accept block is executing or not whether exception occurred or not occurred whether exception handled or not handled no matter but once we use finally block in this implementation always finally block will execute sir this is for sure but including finally block is optional not compulsory if it is compulsory then you can include it then inside the finally block statements whatever we included every time it will execute without the considering of try block and accept block generally what type of statements we can able to include in the finally block suppose like this for ex example i am telling okay clean up code clean up code we will write or else connection closing connection closing mechanism yes generally clean up code we can keep inside the finally block or else connection closing code we can keep inside the finally block why because whenever in real time or in our practical implementation when we write a program that program is need some memory okay after completion of executing program do you want to perform any cleanup activities mandatorily compulsory then that mandatory statements better to include in the finally block because finally block compulsory will execute no problem at all so that cleanup activities will perform automatically and also after communicating with the database or after connection to the database after completion of your transactions with the database like reading the data storing the data modifying the data deleting the data after you must and should close the connection means that connection closing code we can keep inside what finally block so after execution completion then automatically that finally block anyway it will execute so there is no problem always the connection will be automatically closed sir you may get doubt sir clean up activity code example or connection closing code these are mandatory things for end of the program what happen if i include this clean up activities code or connection closing code inside the try block yes we can include inside the try block also but will you give guarantee always try block will execute successfully no if there is an exception in try block then try block obviously will ignore okay if it is ignore then your cleanup code and connection closing code or statements when we include in try block that may miss that may miss it will not execute so there is a possibility will not execute cleanup activity code and connection closing code when we keep those statements inside the try block because there is no guarantee to execute try block always if there is no exceptions only try block will execute if there is an exception try block will not execute at the same time why don't we keep this cleanup activity code and connection closing code inside the accept block accept block also there is no guarantee to execute because if everything is fine inside the try block there is no exception then accept block will not execute if the accept block will not execute whenever we keep that cleanup activity code our connection closing code inside the accept block there is a chance to miss that code that statements okay so that's where what actually better placement of mandatory execution statements or cleanup activities code or connection closing code and etc whichever the statements mandatorily to execute at the end of the program that statements we can keep inside the finally block this is the best place to keep this type of code finally block only okay so let's see that very simple example how finally block will execute here so i'm taking here try block just i'm not writing any logic just i'm including this what block it is try block try block accept a block then print what accept a block like this then finally block print it is what actually finally block like this finally block the moment when we execute this code look at this so try block finally block is there 
try block and finally block what block is not executing except block why don't it execute it is because there is no exception in try block if there is exception in try block 10 by 0 and obviously try block will ignore because of this exception except block will execute finally block will execute look at this except block finally block okay so in both cases whether exception is there or whether exception is not there in both cases which block is executing sir finally block is executing yes or no? so including finally block is optional if we include finally block it must be execute sir so it is compulsory to execute so one more important thing there is only one situation where we can stop the execution of finally block okay there is a possibility we can stop the execution of finally block sir if we don't want to execute finally block there is only one situation is there in python programming what is the situation i'll tell you there is only one situation where we can stop the finally block execution finally block execution that is that is os dot underscore exit of zero function zero is the status code that is called successful termination os is the module name or library name import os library is required dot underscore exit function is the built-in function which is available in this os module whenever we include this os dot underscore exit of zero functions in our program immediately pvm that is python virtual machine immediately pvm will shut down itself will shut down itself i'm saying when we use os dot underscore exit of zero function immediately pvm python virtual mission will shut down itself i'm saying it will shut down itself only sir okay immediately it will shut down the moment when python virtual mission shut down itself then we can stop the finally block execution there is only one situation where we can stop the finally block execution that is os dot underscore of exit of zero then pvm python virtual mission will shut down itself clearly sir okay let's see this how so i am using import os oh sorry import operating system module and here inside the try block after os dot underscore exit of zero i am giving os dot underscore exit of zero function now let's run this now you can see try block here because try block after what is there os dot underscore exit of zero is there okay try block after os dot underscore exit of zero is there got my point so that's what here python virtual mission will set down here your program will not run from here we are stopping forcefully in the middle that is the meaning actually suppose if i don't take this one sir comment after executing try block as usual it will go finally block also do you want to stop your control flow for not going up to the finally block okay then we can include os dot exit of zero here so immediately in this line only line number five only python virtual mission will set down itself immediately it will stop the execution sir okay fine but suppose imagine there is a exception occurred where in try block there is an exception occurred try block is there print 10 by 0 is there 10 by 0 okay in this 10 by 0 exception occurred here the moment when exception occurred immediately control will jump into where sir directly except to block so even python interpreter will not go to here and will not go to here also so directly it will jump into except to block in the except to block except block will print after that finally block also will be used now you can see except block is there finally block also will be there here 
okay like this but after except block also if i use that os dot underscore exit of zero i use os dot underscore exit of zero then immediately control jump into except block sometimes it may be jump into try block in both cases i want to stop that execution should not go to finally block then except block only there here again pbm will be shut down here so this is only one situation one possibility is there but you may get doubt sir is this mechanism only for stopping the finally block execution no not at all any program in in python programming whatever you are going to write number of lines sometimes no in any program wherever do you want to stop the execution of python then in any program we can use this me mechanism not only only for stopping the finally block execution no sir it's not about stopping the finally block execution anywhere in python logic do you want to stop the execution then we can go for this mechanism i am saying okay just for example you can see print i print hello print welcome like this <coughs> i am using here okay print like this just normal statements the moment when we execute this normal statements program like exception to here this is now we got that all statements or not it's a normal python program but look at this when we go for this one sir so import os i am taking operating system module and i need sometimes i have 100 lines of code with me okay i have 100 lines of code with me but only my requirement is uh, 10 lines first 10 lines i need to execute remaining 90 lines i don't want to execute okay so instead of commenting 90 lines of code just a better wherever do you want from where onwards you want to stop there we can go and os dot underscore exit of zero function you can use immediately python virtual mission will set down over there and now you can see this time we got what hi hello came after that we got this os dot underscore exit of zero so using this os dot underscore exit of zero function so what we have pvm python virtual mission will set down itself automatically whenever it will set down pvm so we will stop the execution here and if you comment this one then automatically what will happen sir again it will come like this so what i mean to say here os dot underscore exit of zero is not only for stopping finally block execution it is also stopping what any program of python in the middle in which line do you want to stop the execution there we can stop the execution completely and immediately it will stop the execution sir there is no problem at all okay this is what actually working with finally block you can stop the finally block no problem whenever you want you can stop the finally block fine let's talk about nested try except finally block also there nested 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 try except finally block what is nested try except finally block we'll see this nested try except finally block means we can take uh, try except finally blocks inside the try or inside the except or inside the finally blocks then this is called nested of try except finally block is possible that means inside the try block or inside the accept block or inside the finally block we can include try except finally again inside the try block or inside the finally block or inside the accept block any block inside we can use we can also use what one more try except finally block is called nested try except finally block we can say that okay suppose let's see this how it will be i block is there statements inside the try one more try is there statements except is there statements finally 
statements and this is what actually author accept statements finally statements like this look at this try block statements and inside the try we have what actually try accept finally clearly okay try accept finally clearly so this is called nested try accept finally block we have included try accept finally inside the outer try here okay so try accept finally blocks three statements included inside the outer try and this is outer accept this is outer final this is inner try inner accept inner final sir this is nested try accept finally how it will execute we'll see let's keep this Just to try i'm just undoubtedly printing outer try inside the outer try i'm taking one more try print this is what inner try accept a block inner accept into what inner finally is print outer finally like this now observe so this is outer try this is inner try inner accept inner final outer accept outer final okay yes the moment when we execute this code as this what output you are expecting tell me right now if i execute directly then what output you are expecting tell me what is the output you are expecting when we go for directly execution of this program let me explain control as usual jump into outer try yes after that it will go to inner try yes it will go to inner finally and it will go to outer finally so why don't accept blocks will execute means there is no exception in any one of the try block is there any exception in outer try or is there any in an exception in inner try in both the try blocks there is no exception that's the reason we don't get any execution of accept blocks because accept blocks will execute only when there is an exception in try blocks only but there is no exception in try blocks that's what we will get only try block output finally block output outer try inner try inner finally outer finally note this point outer try inner try inner finally outer finally this one this one this one this one one thing is for sure finally block always will execute there is no option but here try blocks two are executing because there is no exception except blocks are literally ignored because there is no exception in try blocks when there is an exception in try block then only it will go for what except blocks otherwise not okay now for example if i am making wantedly some exception here inside which block try block now tell me what output you are expecting now outside the try outer outer try i'm just taking 10 by 0 exception wantedly making then what is the output you are expecting means simple outer accept outer accept okay yes outer final exactly you are right outer accept outer final only but what about inner finally inner finally 
Outer except outer finally you are saying. See, when there is an exception here, obviously even control will not move towards from here only like this. It's not moving. This code will not be executed. Obviously, correct. Okay, it will not execute because here we are noticing the exception here only at line number 3. This is outer block and only. You know that whenever there is an exception in outer block, try block, immediately who will take responsibility to handle outer except only. So obviously we got this outer except and outer finally only. Inner try, inner finally, inner ex exception will never execute. It's not possible. Okay. So this is a overall understanding point of view how the flow. Fine, sir. Next to what I'm trying to say, I am making an exception inside the inner try block. Now tell me what you are expecting. Exception raised inside the inner try block. Exception raised inside the inner try block. Okay. So 10 by 0, I am just raising inside the inner try block only, sir. So in this context, what output you are expecting? Tell me. First control jump into outer try. Fine. Immediately next it will go to inner try block. But there is an exception. If there is an exception in inter inner try block, obviously accept block need to be executed. Inner accept will execute. Inner finally will execute. Outer finally will execute. That's it. Got it? First it will jump into outer try. Outer try will execute. Yes. Outer try. Inner accept will execute. Because why? Because inside the inner try block there is an exception. Inner accept will execute. Inner finally obviously will execute. Because finally block is mandatory. And outer finally. Outer accept why not? Because there is no exception in outer try. That's what outer accept is leaving. It's perfectly correct. Let's see this. Run this. So now we can see we got this outer try, inner accept, inner finally, outer finally. Outer try, inner accept, inner finally, outer finally. Got it? Yes, this is clear. And one more important thing I'm telling you, just be careful and think and tell me answer. Here we got exception in inner try block. But unfortunately, inner accept block is not relevant. Okay, inner accept block is not relevant. When exception raised inside that inner try block, generally inner accept block should take responsible to handle or not. Yes. But unfortunately, in inner accept block, exception is not relevant to the raised exceptions here we have raised the exception is 10 by 0 but we are handling that exception is value error so corresponding accept block is not matched with raised exception now tell me in this case what is the flow just guess it Inside the inner try block, there is an exception. Obviously, who should take responsible to handle this exception? Inner accept block only. But unfortunately, inner accept block is not handled the exception because this is different exception, but we got zero division exception. Outer try is okay. Kaveri. Outer accept. Outer finally. Exactly. You are right. Outer try will execute. Okay. But there is a problem in where inner try 10 by 0. 10 by 0 in the sense division by 0. But if there is an exception in inside the try block, inner accept block need to be handled. But unfortunately, inner accept block is not unable to handle. It's unable to handle. Immediately, outer accept block should take responsible to handle. And outer finally will execute. This is perfect, sir. Look at this here. Inner finally also will execute common. Okay. That is no problem with that. So this is exactly, sir. Outer accept is involving observe here. Look at the output here. Outer try will print. It's okay. No problem. But here coming to the control flow, jump into inner try. 
here 10 by 0 is there division by 0 but if there is an exception in inner try inner except block is going to take responsible but unfortunately this inner except block is having different exception corresponding except block not matched immediately responsibility is what outer except only so before outer except inner finally will execute outer except will execute outer finally will execute so why sir outer except block is going to take responsibility because this overall total code is belongs to whom try block if any problem occurred in this selected lines who will take responsible this except only no? so that's what in general if inner exception occurred okay in general if inner exception occurred inner except block should be responsible if in case inner except block is not taking responsible to handle this exception then obviously outer except block should take responsible this is very important point because this total code whichever i placed inside the outer try only if anything problem occurred in the outer try then who will take responsible outer except only okay so this is about inner try outer try nested exception clearly here and some more important relevant points i'm going to tell you then see this okay so if the control entered into try block for example if the control entered into try block then compulsory finally block will be executed sir if the control not entered into try block then finally block will not be executed got my point suppose here try block is there enter try block i'm explaining one by one except block is there enter except block and finally block is there enter finally block what i'm saying if control entered into try block okay if control entered into try block then compulsory finally block should execute sir yes finally block is control is entered into try block and finally block is executing once control is entered into try block finally is always will execute sir no problem at all whenever we are writing try block compulsory we should write accept or finally block try block always should associated with accept block or finally block sir for example accept is not there only final is there valid try with final and now you can say accept is there final is not there valid or not valid try with accept or try with finally anyone is there but sir no try no accept is there only try it's invalid look at this only try block i'm using in our program so syntax error is saying expected except or finally blocks okay it's expecting what except block or finally block compulsory sir so what you understand in the strike except finally implementation try should always associated with it anyone except block or finally block only try will not work got my point yes whenever we are writing try block compulsory we should write accept block or finally block without accept or finally block we cannot write try block okay next whenever we are writing accept block compulsory we should write whenever we are writing accept block compulsory we should write try block only accept block without try is always invalid suppose your try is not there accept and final is there but is this correct no invalid syntax again except block always should associated with try only if there is no try there is no valid of except block okay so this is next whenever we are writing finally block compulsory we should write try block finally without to try is always invalid only so when we write finally block there is no except block try block is compulsory request if try is there only finally it's valid so the meaning is very clear if you have a try block you should have accept block or finally block or else when you want to work with accept block compulsory try is required when we want to work with final block compulsory try is required 
but except and finally any one is mandatory with a try without a try there is no code here but inside the try multiple trials also we can include not a problem whenever we are writing finally block compulsory we should write try block finally block without try is always invalid we can write multiple accept blocks for the same try also not a problem only one try we can write multiple accept blocks already we have seen but we cannot write multiple finally blocks for the same try look at this multiple finally blocks we cannot include look at this i am trying to include one more finally even intelligence also it's not showing finally block print finally block it is not valid sir finally two i am taking is this valid no invalid syntax okay so one try we can't use multiple finals but different try different finals are there because it is inner try inner try is having one finally this is one more final is there this is belongs to outer try only same try we cannot use number of finally blocks here so this is about overall exceptions what exceptions we discussed so far only only predefined are built-in built-in exceptions we discussed so far and suppose if user requirement is not satisfied with built-in or predefined exception classes then we can prepare our own exception classes that is called user defined or customized exceptions user defined or customized exception classes because there is no guarantee all the built-in exception classes are satisfy the user requirements sometimes built-in exception classes may not satisfy the user requirement in that context we can go for what sir our own exception classes like customized exception classes we need to create our own class that class should be extended or inherited from super class of exception that is exception then only our class will become exception class that exception class we can we can raise into our program so normally these are all predefined or built-in exceptions by default system will take care for raising this exception according to your program but once we start writing our own exception classes that is customized ex classes who should responsible major exception programmer only python will not take any responsible for your own exception classes because you prepared that exception classes you only should raise the exception but to raise our own exceptions in python there is a keyword called what keyword raise keyword is there raise keyword in other languages programmers will use what throw keyword in dotnet in java generally throw keyword can be used to raise the user defined exception but in python we use what keyword raise keyword so ultimately what we need to prepare our own exception classes according to your program wherever do you want to raise these exceptions we can raise by using raise keyword so how to create user defined exceptions customized exception classes how to raise them into our program we'll discuss in the next session clearly after that we will start immediately file handling concept in python that's all for now